An update on the Black Shark and the 1800 gallons. It's been doing okay. It doesn't seem to bother anybody. It got transferred here, um, I want to say maybe close to a year ago. Definitely about 8 or 10 months. I've never seen it bother anybody. Not that I have many chances to catch it, but over such a long time, I have not. I've never seen anybody bother it. The only thing is that it's it's not growing. It's pretty much stuck at a uh, foot and a half or so. Knowledgeable peers tell me that uh, even males should be able to reach 2 feet 24 inches. Females bigger, 2.5. Maybe even three, if it has very good genes, I guess, and uh, very good care. But ours has been at about foot and a half, probably for the past, I want to say two years, three years. This one we've had a long time. This, this fish is about uh, maybe 20, 2015. Yeah, 2015. Today is 2022, so seven years. So this fish is probably seven and a half, eight years. And still foot and a half. Judging from the pointy dorsal, the tall, the, the long leading ray of the dorsal fin. That's probably a male and judging from the growth and the size as well. This is our only black shark. Probably the most popular labelle species in the trade. Labelle are a group of uh, Asian, mostly sucker mouth carp, which are known to be very aggressive in small tanks to almost any tank mate. So if you're buying a fish and you see labelle in the name, you better do your homework before you combine that fish or put it in your community tank. You better know what you're doing, do some homework, read up on it. Because in communities, Lobel almost equals to trouble. Lobel from Latin means lip or lips. in reference to their big fleshy lips that form their uh, sucker mouth apparatus. They're great grazers and great cleaners. When we put two black labelle on our 25,000 gallons, within a, it was all grown, overgrown with algae. I want to say over a few weeks or a couple of weeks, those two labelle cleaned it up. Walls, back, everything. I mean, the the 45 foot window in the tank we, we wipe, of course, but I don't wipe anything else. And anything else had a lot of algae on it. I don't know if you caught it right now. It's trying to clean something out of the <laughs> out of the drain. The drain screen.
I can't say it has any particular spot that it occupies in this tank. It's usually all over the place, swims freely here and there. Once in a while I see a little bit of tatter in its fins. So it's, uh, it definitely has some skirmishes or some figuring out between other fish. Probably the pecking order. I'm guessing probably the similar looking fish like the uh, masir, which are also aggressive. In a small tank it would be a nightmare. I don't know if you caught it now, it just chased, gave a little bit of a chase to the, to the large detonoid, detonoid perch by the back wall. Tasting the rock, tasting the screen, tasting the detonoid perch, another rock. It's got a curious mouth construction and a lot of little barbells. And kind of long fibers on the on the mouth. Again just now it uh, drove or not drove away but was trying to pay attention to that uh, injured uh, sun catfish. Anytime it turns over or turns on its side and approaches another fish and puts its mouth on it, that's, that's aggression. Either, either it's, it tries to rest with the slime or it tries to drive that fish away. See how it's She's, she's just done it to the lima shovel nose. Nothing bad or nothing violent or nothing excessive, just a little, a little nudge, a little place, placing of the mouth and the other fish swims away or gives way. They don't want to pick a fight with, with the black shark, which is understandable. If I live in that tank, I wouldn't want to pick a fight with it either. Thank goodness I don't live in that tank. Testing the rocks for any chewing something. Maybe she got something from there. She, I would say he. It's a he. It's a male. I'm sorry. Irene didn't want to have any of it. Cleaning the bottom a little bit. Maybe there's something there. Chewing it. You can see it's so relaxed. I mean, even when it approaches tank mates, it's nothing. I know how aggressive it can be, it can chase and, and, and suck on tank meat until it kills them from stress, by, via the stress. Here it's very relaxed, I mean it's just pretty much like fish use the, use the mouth to, they have no hands, they use the mouth to explore and touch things, to understand better what they're dealing with. Again, the perch. He is well aware of my presence, keeping an eye on me. I can see that 
he sees me. He reacts to the movements, my movements outside the tank. Again, a little sucking on the rock over there. Just to make sure I'm not missing anything, right? This one too. So people that keep black shark in small tanks, they can tell the difference and they can see this fish is very relaxed, has no intention on harming anybody or taking advantage of anybody. Which is pretty much the norm for a black shark in a small tank with tank mates. And by small I mean if you have a foot and a half black shark. A small tank for it would be 300 gallon, 500 gallon in that range. I'm not talking about 50 gallon. And 50 gallon is a foot and a half black shark would be a psycho killer. I, 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 I cannot be 100% sure but I don't think you can keep any fish with black shark in 50 gallons if a black shark is one foot or over, but I may be wrong. I remember some years ago I was wrong once. self-deprecation if it wasn't clear. Well that's our Sharky. His name is Sharky by the way. We've had him seven years and enjoyed his antics even though he's hard to pretty hard to house. in any kind of community except in the largest tanks the reason it was kicked out of the 25,000 gallons is because it decided to bother a little bit the sturgeon, the beluga sturgeon which is a big big no-no for us if you bother the sturgeons you're out even a little bit sturgeons are such oblivious and primitive fish that they don't care if anybody is rasping them, eating their slime, rasping their skin, sturgeon don't care. They just swim around like huge blobs of living matter that's oblivious to anything else but food. And even that is taken with dignity. They don't get desperate and search it out. They sort of make it happen that they stumble upon it. Well, that's our Sharky. Thank you for watching.